Hello, Franklin. Dr. Clendenning here. Wanted to just talk to you a little bit about the first week of at-home learning, what we can expect as we head towards May the 1st, and moving forward together. But first, I wanted to say thank you. Thank you to the parents, thank you to the students, and a big thank you to teachers for all they've done to make sure at-home learning works. There's so many things going behind the scenes that are making this happen, but I know in the homes, the parents, you guys are doing a great job. Keep up the good work. Continue to reach out to your teachers to Google Classroom to make sure learning happens. And we're gonna to continue to focus on our values, what's important to Franklin schools. That's individual student growth, communication, collaboration, systemic improvement, and trust. Together, all five of these will shine through over the next several weeks. This is a definite and different world that we're living in. Together, we're gonna to be able to conquer it and the kids will grow and individual student growth will reign supreme. Second, I wanna talk a little bit about what it looks like between March 20th and May 1st. Yesterday, Governor Holcomb made an announcement that all buildings would be closed. So what does that mean? That means that we're gonna continue at-home learning during that time period. But it's gonna look a little different. After spring break, April 6th through April 10th, we're gonna take our first five waiver days. So there'll be no school delivered to students as we know that. We are coming up with some activities to do, more information on that in the future. But then on April 13th through May 1st, we're gonna to go to school Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Tuesdays and Thursdays will be waiver days. This is gonna allow people to catch up, do their work, and not feel like they're getting behind and not feeling like there's just so much coming at them that they cannot stay connected, that they cannot stay engaged in that learning process. Our teachers will continue to be doing things, but on Tuesdays and Thursdays, it's also going to be a time for them to gather. Because just like most of you, most of our teachers are parents, and they're trying to balance all that just like you are. So we're going to go from April 13th through May 1st with at home learning. After May 1st, still up in the air. We're going to look to Governor Holcomb's lead as well as uh, Johnson Health Department and Dr. Mormon. So then I'm going to shift it now to partnerships here in Franklin and say thank you to them. Dr. Mormon and Johnson County Health Department, they've been phenomenal in this journey. Information is fast and furious. We're staying right there connected with them, and I want to thank them for what they're doing for us. We're all in this together. We're also in this together, uh, making sure we stay home, making sure that we can't do go outside, but keep our social distancing. And we're here to announce that we are going to partner with the Indiana Blood Bank. The blood supply is running low, so we will open up the auxiliary gym at Franklin Community Middle School for a blood drive. More information on our website and through other types of communication as we move forward with this before May 1st. Also, food is very important. It's the sustenance of life. We want to make sure we continue to deliver that. We've partnered with local churches, with the government to ensure that our kids are getting fed. On Mondays, from 10.30 to 1.30, and Tuesdays, 10.30 to 1.30, people under age of 18 can come and get meals. We That's at Northwood Elementary. We're also looking at other ways to connect with people and get make sure they have food. These things are very important. We're going to continue to provide those to everybody, and we'll continue to look at how can we better meet the needs of our students during this era that's unprecedented. I hope everyone is safe. I hope everyone continues to wash their hands. Please, please remember to stay in close to home. It's for everybody's benefit, but it is okay to go outside and do recreation things. And I would encourage everybody to take care of themselves, go outside, take a walk. And remember, we will get through this. Franklin Schools and Franklin Community are great partners. This is a great place to live, work, and play. Thank you for all you're doing, and we will see you in a few days with more information.